Hey guys, I didn't even think about this, but um, I'm thinking about doing something like this, but I'm going to Euro Jam tomorrow, and the car's pretty clean, it's been sitting here all week. I drove it a couple of times, one to make the exhaust video, uh, and two to, um, I drove it to work today. Um, so I, I rarely do this, but I'm just wiping the car down for the show because it's, it's pretty clean. Um, there's probably some, especially on the bottom of the car, there's probably some dirt on it. Um, I, I don't like to do this very often because this is how you introduce swirls, scratches, things like that. So I'd show you real quickly kind of how I go through this little brief procedure just to, just to clean the car off. So I'm going to uh, detail spray. I already did the roof here, and it occurred to me I should probably make a quick little video while I'm at it. Um, yeah, it's, it's ready to ready to be detailed in a few weeks. You feel some contaminants in the paint. So, I got Adam's detail spray. Got a pile of towels. Um, that's another reason why I rarely do this because it takes so many darn towels to, to get this done. Um, but uh, um, I'm going to sort of detail spray, gently wipe the car down, but uh, I'll show you sort of a couple little tips that I learned um, over the years on how to do this properly. You know, one of the things I see people doing all the time, I go out to these car events, especially I'm sure I'll see it tomorrow, um, but I go out to the car events and I'll see um, people you know, buffing out with their detail spray, wiping the wheels off and cleaning everything off. And, and I'm just shaking my head because I know exactly as soon as I walk up to the car, it's going to be swirled and scratched out. And it's sad because these guys really love their cars and just don't know any better. Um, so I figured I'd show you this real quickly. On, I mean, if you, if you don't know how to do this, then you already know how to do this. But I figure it can't hurt to make a quick little video. Especially for the young guys that follow me that maybe haven't learn their lessons yet in life. So, always, when you eat microfiber towel, I always check it out, make sure there's nothing sticking in it. Last thing you want to do is have a piece of like leaf or something in there that's scratching up your paint. Uh, and then, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to rub or buff or, 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 or really push hard. I'm just going to sort of drag the towel across the top, pretty nice and wet. So there's just a little bit of dirt on here. Uh, and then I'll flip the towel over and then follow up. Still not pushing, but just getting the streaks. You know, Adam's detail sprays are really good, um, but just getting the streaks out. And I'm sure you can't hear that, but it is time for um, about six months. Let's see. Got a car in September, October, November, December, January, February. Yeah, so this will be coming up on six months. So it's about time to auto scrub the car. Here and uh, uh, detailed. So, if you'll notice, I, I wiped down, got the main dirt off of this side, and flipped the towel and cleaned it. And then I'm going to take this side of the towel and do the, the initial clean here, and then I'll flip it over again. So, then I'll flip the towel and finish the job. Sure, somebody else me for using my fingernail on the paint. It is clear coat. It is super hard, considerably harder than my fingernail is. So, one side clean. So to do a whole car, you know, it'll take what thirty minutes or so. Just want to make sure you guys can see this. Let me switch the camera angle so you can see a little better. GT3. So the GT3 is really dirty. I've been driving that all week. I actually sent my exhaust back to AWE. We were messing around with the valves, doing something. Um, so the M3 sat all week, waiting for the exhaust to come back. We just got it in time for taking the Euro Jam thing tomorrow. Which I'm, my buddies from PSI are going to be there, so it won't be too bad, but I'm sure there'll be some pretty ghetto looking stuff there. I might take the camera and take a few pictures. 
All right. Again, I'm not pushing, I'm just dragging across the top, just kind of wiping the first layer of dirt off. And I can use the other side of the towel too. And finish the job. Same thing. Over. Daddy. Yes, sir. Can you come and snow with us? <laughs> Snuggle with you guys? Yeah. You want me to do that? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could. Alright, get a new towel. Check it. Looks good. Looks clean. I don't take as good of care of my towels as I probably should. I've made this comment on a bunch of the videos that I've made that I'm going to replace my towels. When I do, if I do invest the money in the microfiber madness stuff, then I'm going to I'm going to really take solid care of them. It's not that I take poor care of them, but I, I don't use different towels for different applications. I have these blue, these are the Uber um, from Detailer's Domain. Um, I think these are the, oh, these are the ultimate. I really like them. They're not bad. But I figure I got all this other fancy stuff on. I might as well get some fancy towels. So the bottom of the car is going to have a lot more dirt. So this is where you really need to be careful. Work your way down, especially behind the wheels. And I'm not trying to make this look perfect. I just want it to be somewhat clean. I mean, I got to drive an hour to go down there, so. But I never, never wipe the car down to show. Not that I go to car shows, but I got car meat. I guess this is technically a show. I'm just going to hang out with my buddies from PSI. So, that's how you do it. I guess I got to go snuggle these little guys. <laughs> And uh, I'll catch back up with you guys in a few. Going in. You know, I'm not drenching it. I'd be real careful with my headlights if I were you too. That's one thing you can't polish out. So if you scratch those up, you're in trouble. Because with headlights, um, there's a, um, you know, a clear coat on the headlights, a UV coat. And what happens when headlights get yellow or foggy or hazy, the only way to fix that is to remove that, that coating, that top layer. So what you're essentially doing is wet sanding it out or polishing out, removing that whole sort of clear, um, protective layer from the you know from the lens so once that's gone it doesn't come back so then you have to start polishing and correcting it every so often because the haze will keep coming back so I'm always really protective of my headlights because I've screwed them up before learning lessons the hard way once you screw them up, you kind of can't fix them. You can band-aid them, but you can't really ever get them to come out the way they were from the factory. And I'm assuming, since these are LEDs, that they're pretty expensive to replace. Lip. So I'll probably use, I don't know, 10 towels, 15, by doing the flip method. Make sure there's nothing on there. I've always found that wiping off the front bumper, maybe it's just because of the angle of it, but I, I've always felt like it's harder to swirl out the plastic or urethane bumpers than it is to swirl other parts of the metal parts of the car. So like I said, my, you know, my car's pretty relatively clean. 
So I'm not having to do tons of work. And I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm just trying to wipe the dust and dirt off when everybody's looking at the car tomorrow. Or well, a few people look at my car anyway. Still. It won't look super dirty. But whatever you do, don't go start buffing the crap out of your paint. Take it nice, nice, gentle. Swipes and also again, I mean, I wouldn't do this very often because the chance of you swirling or scratching the paint, that probability goes up dramatically by touching it in between washes. That's the whole point of using the foam cannon, the foam or foam gun, foam cannon, whatever you call it, and and you know, making sure that you're trying to be as delicate to the paint as possible. Just put the camera down here on the side. I think you guys get the idea. But since I got it here, I might as well keep blabbing away. Forget what I was saying. And here's some bug guts. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'll wipe the windows down too. Wipe that down, clean that up. So this is the part you really want to take care of. Flip the towel. As soon as I get down here to the bottom, Notice you're really starting to see a bunch of dirt. So I'm not applying any particular pressure, just kind of wiping back and forth, especially on that first pass. In the second pass, I might do a little bit more. Pushing maybe a little bit harder, but still trying to avoid. If I were you, I'd avoid the shadow, shadow line trim or any kind of trim you have because that swirls way easier than the paint does. Please, the uh, auto finesse desire still beating pretty well even today. Wash it or you know wash it this weekend. Um, I mean, I guess I should be pleased. It's two hundred bucks a, a jar, but I like it. I like the depth it adds. Still on, clearly still on the paint. I'm still in, in protecting it, beating. So that's how I do it. Walk around the car. Wipe it down. I won't even touch the wheels. Uh, I'm gonna do the. I'll do the glass. Um, do the same thing with the glass. Don't start buffing it. Make sure you you know, take care to to not not go crazy. The wheels are clean enough. Probably won't wipe that down. The leaves in here, and um, I'll take it tomorrow and make it look. It looks pretty good. Thanks for watching.